today's video, we will discuss about the central angles. Let us first define a central angle. A central angle of a circle is an angle whose vertex is the center of the circle. Let us take a look at the circle O. As you can see, point O is the center of the circle. Now let us draw two radii here. The two radii here will serve as the arms of the angle. There we have an angle AOB. This angle is a central angle because its vertex is the center of the circle. Now we can draw more central angles in this circle. Let's name the central angles in circle O. We have a central angle AOC, central angle BOD, central angle BOC, and central angle COD. Again, these are called central angles because the vertex of these angles is the center of the circle. Just a short trivia before we proceed in determining the measurements of the central angles. The degree measure of a circle is equal to 360 degrees. You have to bear that in mind because we will be using this idea to solve for the measurements of our arcs and central angles. Now let us discuss example number one. In circle O, the only given here is the intercepted arc AB which is equal to 45 degrees. Now our task in this example is to find for the measurement of the central angle AOB. So how are we going to solve for it? Before we solve for that, take note of this one. The measurement of the central angle is equal to the measurement of its intercepted arc. What do we mean by intercepted arc? An intercepted arc is part of the circumference of a circle. It is usually the opening of the central angle. So whatever is the measurement of our intercepted arc, that's also the measurement of our central angle. So without further solving, we say that the measurement of angle AOB is equal to 45 degrees. Now let's proceed to the next example. In example number 2, we have the same figure but the given here is the central angle AOB which is equal to 45 degrees. And our task here is to find for the measurement of the major arc ACB. So for us to get the measurement of arc ACB, take a look at this figure. As you can see, the only given here is the central angle. So whatever the measurement of the central angle, that is also the measurement of its intercepted arc. Now, to get the measurement of arc ACB, we just have to subtract 45 degrees from the entire measurement or degree measure of the circle, which is 360 degrees. So if you're going to subtract 45 from 360, you will get the measurement of arc ACB, which is equal to 315 degrees. Therefore, measurement of arc ACB is equal to 315 degrees. Now, let us discuss the last example. Uh, this is a more complicated example than the previous examples that we have discussed. So, in circle P, here are the given values. We have measurement of arc YZ that's equal to 15 degrees. And these square symbols indicate that this angle is a right angle. And a right angle measures 90 degrees. So, take note of that because we will be using this idea later when we solve the missing measurements. So, let's identify the following measurement. The measurement of angle VPZ. Measurement of arc VW. Measurement of arc XY and the measurement of angle XPW. Let us focus with the first one, letter A. Measurement of angle VPZ. So how are we going to find for the measurement of angle VPZ? So as you can see in the figure, we have a straight angle WPY and a straight angle measures 180 degrees. Now given that angle VPW is equal to 90 degrees because this is a right angle. That follows that the measurement of the supplementary angle VPY is also equal to 90 degrees. 
Now look at the given intercepted arc. The intercepted arc of angle YPZ is equal to 15 degrees. And it will also follow that angle YPZ is also 15 degrees. So if this is 15 degrees, to solve for the angle VPZ, you just have to subtract 15 degrees to 90 degrees. So we have 90 degrees minus the measurement of angle YPZ that's equal to 15 degrees. What is left is the measurement of angle VPZ which is equal to 75 degrees. Now let us move on to the second one. We have the measurement of arc VW. As you can see, arc VW is the intercepted arc of the right angle VPW. And it measures 90 degrees. It follows that the measurement of its intercepted arc is also 90 degrees. Now let's move on to letter C. Find the measurement of arc XY. So for arc XY, as you can see, the sum of arc XY and yz is actually 90 degrees because this is the intercepted arc of the right angle xpz so what are you going to do you just have to subtract 15 degrees to 90 degrees so we have 90 degrees minus 15 degrees that is equal to 75 degrees so the measurement of arc xy is equal to 75 degrees so for the measurement of angle XPW, take a look at this straight angle YPW that is actually equal to 180 degrees because there is a straight angle. Then subtract the measurement of arc XY is the intercepted arc of the central angle XPY. So if the intercepted arc is equal to 75 degrees, it also follows that angle XPY is also 75 degrees. So to get the measurement of angle XPW, we just have to subtract the measurement of our angle XPY to 180 degrees. So we just have to copy 180 degrees here and then subtract the measurement of angle XPY which is equal to 75 degrees. There we got 105 degrees. Therefore, the measurement of angle XPW is equal to 105 degrees that's all for today thank you for watching i hope you learned something if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to update you on my next video